Okay, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be doing something kind of cool. We're gonna be taking a lemon and cutting it in half virtually, of course, in Blender to make this cool looking scene. So um, it's pretty simple. We'll just be projecting some quick dirty images onto our objects here, trying to make it look cool, posing it, giving it some depth of field. But I think, you know, for the amount of work we're gonna put into this, it's pretty fun and I like the final result. So let's make this kind of juicy looking render in Blender 4.0. So we're gonna need some textures to project or some images, if you will, that we're gonna use for textures. So a really simple solution to that is to come to a free website called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. You're just gonna to go to the website and you're gonna click here on the search bar and just type in lemon and search. And you're gonna see a whole bunch of results. By the way, these are free images that you can download. So what do you wanna find? It's just a cross section of a lemon. So a cut cross section, there's a few of them here. But try and find something that is at nice and facing like this. So this is a good one over here. Here's quite a few if you want to do like a grapefruit or some different types of citruses. Um, but you guys kind of get the idea here. You know, pick one where you have a cross section that we can later project onto our cut half. So I've already found one. You guys find one that you like. It's easy to download. And then once you've found one, you're going to go ahead and just type in um, wood or wooden board or something like that. And then if you find one, like maybe something like this, you can go ahead and click on it and download that as well. So I've already done that. And I'll quickly show you guys on my desktop. I have here an image of a lemon cross cut section and then just a wood picture. We don't really need like a normal map or anything like that because it's not going to matter. It's just um, we're going to set things up so we won't notice any of that. So in Blender 4.0, we're going to select everything and just press delete. Then in our front orthographic view, we're going to go shift A. We're going to go mesh and add in a UV sphere and then we're going to tab into edit mode and with, and with everything active we're going to go R and then we're going to go Y and then 90 and hit enter so we've just rotated 90 degrees on the Y axis and then what we're going to do is so we're going to go S X and scale it a little bit along the X like this and then let's go to our proportional editing let's just go deselect everything shift alt left click on this edge over here and just go S to scale a little bit just to make it not quite look like an egg. And then over here, let's grab this edge and go S, and just scale it a little bit like that. Then turn off proportional editing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, just grab this vertex, control plus to grow the selection and E to extrude S to scale. Then E to extrude S to scale like so. Control R over here and then roll your middle mouse button just to add in three loops. And with them still active, go control plus just to grow the selection like so. And then come press T to bring up your tools, get your smooth tool and then just go drag and smooth that out just to create this nub in the end. And then we're going to come over here to the other side. This time we're going to go control plus E to extrude S to scale E to extrude S to scale E to extrude S to scale and then go control plus a few times. And then also just smooth that a little bit like that. And then tab back out. Then you're gonna right click and go shade smooth. And that's looking pretty good. Um, let's just quickly go back into edit mode. So at this point, you're gonna decide where you wanna cut us in half. So I'm gonna choose the middle edge here. So I'm gonna go shift alt, left click on it. Then you're gonna press a V and then right click to let go. And with any one of these selected, you can select just one of these, but like so, go control L. It'll select the whole thing by itself. And then you're gonna go P you need to separate the selection. Then you need to tab back out. And now you got these two separate bits. So let's just start by selecting one of them and pressing H to hide it. And then let's select the other half. Tab into edit mode and let's go shift alt left click on this edge. We're gonna go E to extrude and S to scale a tiny little bit like so. Then E to extrude S to scale a little bit more. And then we're gonna go control F with that edge still selected or command F, whichever. And then go grid fill, like so. And then you're gonna come over here, control R, left click once and just slide up an edge, tie it up against there and tab back out. Then go to your modifiers and go add modifier, search and go sub and get a subdivision surface. And now it's looking good. Now we're gonna go Alt H to bring back our other bit. Then select this bit over here and go H. And now we're gonna grab this guy, tab into edit mode. Shift Alt, left click on this edge. E to extrude, S to scale, just a tiny bit. E to extrude, S to scale again. And then go Control F and then go Grid Fill. And then come over here, Control R, left click once and just slide in an edge right up to the end. 
tab back out and then go to your modifiers, search, then type in sub and get a subdivision surface modifier. And now we're gonna go Alt H to bring back the other half. And now we have these two over here. So let's actually go ahead and select the lemons and let's go new. Let's just call it skin. And in our viewport display, just so we can see it, we're gonna give it a nice yellow. Then let's select the other half and come to the drop down and give it skin. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A. Let's just quickly add in a cube. Tab into edit mode, we're gonna go S, Z and flatten it. And then S to scale it up about this big and then maybe flatten it again a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Something like this should be fine. And then um, we're gonna tab back out and then let's grab our lemons. G, Z and move it up. And then let's go to our top orthographic view. We're gonna grab this one and rotate it roughly 90 degrees, like so. And let's grab this one and rotate it 90 degrees towards us, like so. So it's facing towards the front of our scene. And then let's go to our front orthographic view. And for now, we're gonna go over to our render settings. Let's change it to cycles. And if you have a GPU, I recommend you use it. And then under render samples, we set the max, max samples to 50, should be fine. And then let's go to our texture properties for now. And let's go grab one of these slices and go plus. Let's go new and let's call this inside. And let's come here to the base color. Let's click on image texture and let's go open. And then you're gonna find whatever lemon image you downloaded. So I'm gonna grab one that I have and I go open. So now it's referenced and now I'm gonna to go to my UV editing Go into the front orthographic view and then you're going to go Z and go material preview. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to go to your face select option and click and drag and just select all of these front faces like that. And if you're not in wireframe or x-ray, you should only select the front faces. And then you're going to go in your front view, you're going to go U, so U for unwrap. And then you're going to click on project from view over here. And then you're going to come here to the drop down and click on your lemon image. And if you come over here, if it, at the moment it's out of um, material preview, and even though at the moment it is in material preview, you have to actually go to your material. And with this face selected, you have to go to that inside and click on assign. And now you can see the lemon, but over here, um, it's not projected um, how we want. So let's just try that again. We're gonna go over here, U and go project from view. And there we go. So now we can scale it over here and move it and just going to press s scale it a little bit more and let's just get as close as we can to fitting in here and then you can come over here and enable proportional editing and then just adjust slightly the um inside of the lemon here just so that it kind of goes all the way up against the skin like so just slightly adjusting it so yours might be different but just make sure you get it going right up to the edge all the way around. And then you can come over here in your preview, you can see it's looking good. So if you now tab out, you can see there we have the lemon. And for now, let's just grab the other one. Let's come click plus, come to the drop down and select that inside material. And now with this one, let's tab into edit mode and in the front, we're gonna click and drag to select all the front faces. Let's assign that inside. And then in the front view, let's go U and go project from view. Grab this guy and scale him up as well. And over here, I'm actually gonna rotate it a bit so it's just facing differently. And let's scale it just so it fits as much as possible. Make sure there are no unnecessary overlaps. Something like this. And tab back out. And now you can see over here it's matching. We're gonna tab back out. And that's looking really good. So now let's go over to our shading workspace. Let's go into our front view. Shift A, let's add in a camera. And then let's go move it back. And then go into our camera view by pressing zero. Let's go to our camera settings and give it a focal length of 125. You might have to move the camera back just a little bit. And then we're gonna grab this lemon slice. We're gonna go R, Z and rotate it like so. G to move it in a bit and then R just to rotate it. Just kind of give it a nice position like this and then grab this guy and go R, Z, rotate it this way and then just rotate it a bit and kind of just place it down on the ground. So just get some nice posing like this to make it look cool. 
And then go control B and drag over the camera to limit it to the, the rendering to the camera. Then we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our light options and add in an area light. G, Z, move it up and then go to your power and make it to, let's go 3000 because remember this is a kind of a big scene so we can make it a bit bigger, the value here. And then let's go Z and go rendered. And I'll probably grab this light and scale it up with the size and then go G, Z, move it up a bit. And in this case, I'll probably bring the strength down to 1000. And then I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate this light, move it over to the side. R to rotate it like so. And that's looking good for now. So let's grab one of these lemons. Let's go over to the material properties and click on skin. And you could just simply go to the base color and give this kind of like a lemon skin um, color. But we really need some texture on here. So let's go. Shift A search and get a noise texture. Let's plug that into the normal and then go Shift A search and get a color ramp. Place it over here. Then move these two up and then go Shift A search and get a bump. And place the bump on this cable but make sure it's feeding into the height input of the bump. And then come here to the scale and make it 58. And then let's go Z and go rendered. And now we can see we've got some nice bump here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the strength down quite a bit, like so. And maybe take the scale up to 120. Okay, that's looking good. So now we have some texture to the lemon. You can come here to the subsurface, give it a value of 0.4 on the weight. And you can grab the inside and you can go to the subsurface as well and give it like 0.5. So now we've got some subsurface scattering. And then let's just grab our board. Let's go new to create a material for that. Let's go to the base color and just drag and go image. Get an image texture and then go open. And let's get that wooden um, looking texture. Go open image. Then tab into edit mode and then go U and go smart UV project. And then go OK. So it's automatically unwrapped this. And now if we go Z and we go material preview, we should see we have the wood like this, okay? So very simple, so let's go into our camera view. Let's go Z, let's go rendered. And let's go Shift A, let's get a plane, RX90. And I'm just gonna move this plane all the way back, S to scale it up nice and big in the background like so. And then with that plane selected, just go new, create a basic, um, principled here and then just give it whatever color you want. So I'm going to go with kind of like a darker kind of yellow, make it really dark. And that looks pretty good. And now if you want to add an extra flare, you can grab your camera. You can go to your camera settings and go to depth of field. Click on the eyedropper and then select one of these lemons. And then bring your f-stop down to 0.4. And now you've got some nice soft focus in the background and the foreground. So at this point, it's really a matter of playing around with your lighting as well. You can create more light, like so. Um, kind of make it look however you want. I might bring the subsurface down a bit on some of these things. But I think that looks pretty good. So now let's go over render and render image. And there we have some realistic looking lemons. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And you can go even further. I'll quickly show you guys my original. This is the one I'll upload to Patreon. I just added in a cube and in the sculpting mode, I just stretched it out with the tool. So very simple and flattened it. And then I had something that looked like water. And I just added a glossy yellowy material to it. So it kind of looked like squeezed lemon. And then I also just went into compositing and I just added a color balance. I just did a few things just to add some extra flair, added a lens distortion. So there's a lot of things you can do to make this look um, as cool as you want. But that is the basics of how to make this lemon scene in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed.